Hello, Floss Tube. We're, We're the, the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch. I'm Priscilla. I'm Chelsea. I'm Zinni. I let Zinnia borrow one of my bows. <laughs> Just kidding. Zinnia got these bows from Grandma at that urban market, urban farm girl, whatever Mom calls it, farm girl. Um, they're yeah, her, her super stretchy. Yeah, her regular bows did not like fit the ones that come with her clothes. She's got a little head. Yeah, this is what I hear from everybody. She's got a little head. Sometimes when she wears bows and she takes a nap, I'll go check on her and she's got it over her eyes. <laughs> Um, the dogs are in the other room. Yes. <laughs> uh, this week, what did we do? Oh, talk about your thing first. So, what night was that? I don't know. Three nights ago? Like Thursday night or Wednesday night? Mm, Wednesday or Tuesday. I got a notification that I had, uh... Somebody tagged you. A, yes. On Facebook. Or first of all, I think I saw it on Instagram. She messaged me. But anyway, Denise who we know from doing retreats. She's a flight attendant. And in the Chicago airport, she ran into Boston Rob. And a big hunk of meat. Yes. <laughs> Stop it. He's like young enough to be my son. She's like, he's hot. <laughs> anyway. My mother-in-law said he was hot. So was a lot of I, we said that at lunch the other day, and Matt was like, I'm right here. <laughs> Your point? <laughs> He is super sweet, and he made a video for mom um, just saying hello and thanks for rooting for him. Yes. Anyway, it's on my Facebook and my Instagram. If you haven't seen it, it's like I said to Mom her. watches it every night. <laughs> I do not. She wishes you won, Rob. Yes. <laughs> Remember I said, if that old lady votes him off, I'm not watching it anymore. <laughs> Uh, we hope that he's on Traders or All Stars or... Um, Survivor, the... the that that's a night, yeah. Because so I think the special he's forces. in the airport going to another show. Oh, he could have been doing special forces, couldn't he have? That would, he'd be good at special forces, right? Because yeah. a bunch of people, like Trista Sutter. I've never watched it. It's so good. And it's on Hulu. It's not on Netflix. Oh. Uh, Trista Sutter, I think, is on it. And um, another lady I watched from The Bachelor. They were all like, they did this hiatus from their family or whatever. All right. What else did you do this week? Uh, after the video last week, we went plant shopping again, <laughs> right? Go figure. And yesterday we met to, or two days ago we met for the stitching, and we went plant shopping again. <laughs> I'm just at Lowe's checking the clearance racks. They have good clearance racks. Mm -hmm. Not if you're in this area, they don't have clearance racks. Right, in Kenosha right. or Gurney or Vernon Hills. There's no, there's no clearance at Lowe's anymore. Remember? Oh, there's no clearance. There's yes, there's clearance at the Gurney one. Check it out there. <laughs> Uh, but if you're in any have, other have, area, have lunch at Cooper's Hawk while you're there. Get the lettuce wraps. They're yeah. really good. If you're in any other area, um, there's clearance racks. They're all throughout the day, or all throughout the week. I don't know if there's one specific day that they do a special clearance markdown, but I saw house plants there yesterday too, which is nice. Oh, I was we did go to day. JoJo's birthday on Sunday night, so she's three, and it was nice to see them. And. Like, almost the whole family was there, right? Cash wasn't there. Cash wasn't there. Parker, Riley, Chance. So, no, not the whole family. No. <laughs> <laughs> I babysat on Tuesday. He's been um, really fussy because he was getting teeth, and he was up for, like, two nights in a row, and they were just, like, at their wits' ends, and she said, I'm sorry. I know it's going to be hard. And she picked him up, and I said, well, he was better than he usually is. <laughs> Just what a mom wants to hear. He wasn't fussy at all. He like was in his walker chasing the dogs and he was really good. So next week is my last babysitting because she's a teacher and she's done after that. So oh. until next mm -hmm. year. Um, well, I'm sure if she has to go somewhere or something, she would ask me to babysit. But... I don't know. I wouldn't be so sure. But <laughs> yeah. I... I don't know that I'm qualified. <laughs> yeah. Can I have those? Yeah. Yeah, thread. Oh, we will be showing you the three new releases in just a little bit. Let's go to the questions. Yeah, I finally finished. I love it. It's amazing, but she I finally shower. finished. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Does anybody know who the plant lady Laura is that they talked about? <laughs> Laura is from Garden Answer. She's a YouTuber. Um, she has a whole empire now. She Laura. She her video comes out at six a.m. every or six oh one every weekday morning, and Sundays is like the recap. And that's what I do at 6 o'clock. 
<laughs> she takes it out to water. Yeah. And then, yeah. Um, when did you say Liberty would be available? It'll ship in the middle of next week. Mm -hmm. So I'm still waiting for uh, some charts back from the printer, and I'm mm -hmm. going to get them packed up, and then they'll mm -hmm. be going out to you guys. And they will go to shops next week. So you can only buy the physical form of chart for the first month. Yep, today Cross Stitcher and Strawberries came out in the Etsy shop, so you'll be able to find them there. I'll link them below. Mm -hmm. Will you be doing some more charts for Recipe Box? There's a chart that works for spring, summer, and winter, but nothing for fall yet. Hi. Yes, yes. There's yeah, definitely... Recipe Box is not complete. No, yeah, not at all. Um, is there going to be a third baby down the line? Hopefully. I mean, God willing, yes. I don't feel done. My husband right now is in the trenches. I thought she was talking about golden doodles. <laughs> she needs another dog, like a whole bunch. She has to walk her dog out there to make sure she doesn't get in the four foot tall little garden bed. Um, oh, you got you talked about your dirt last week, so you are all set. You're going to be finishing planting this week. Yes, I got a lot of my vegetable garden planted. Yes, I'm hoping today that I can just breeze through all my stuff and the bunnies have. I had a, a whole flat of sunflowers that I had grown, branching sunflowers, and Chelsea had stuck them out in the yard because they were looking a little bit um, fried, so she put them in the yard in the shade, and the rabbits had a field day, and we're ripping them out of the, the thing, and I didn't know for two days because I sat on my couch and stitched for two days. It's my fault. Yeah. Um, <laughs> she's going to plant some sunflowers, though, that's what she's going to do. Uh... Do and you... I am loving my pink green stock. I just have to say that oh. when I look down the sidewalk, it's <laughs> yeah, it's right here and it's yeah. super pretty. So in it, she has some pink gumfarina. She has the straw. No, what pink lemonade? Yeah. What did we say is pink lemonade? Yes. Pink lemonade. Um, super bells, or what are they? Yeah, they're super bells. And those ones that look like little roses that yes. are super bells. Those are in between the gumfarina. And then I have super vina in a row of supervena in white and every other one is that it's like candy cane striped mm -hmm. and then I have a whole row of the candy cane striped and then I have those perfusion zinnias and alyssum that I grew in the bottom and of course we'll show you that but just for an idea because yeah. a lot of you are ordering that pink one I put some strawberries in mine and then some of the same things that she did in hers I replanted my blue strawberry one because I use um the kind of dirt that I use for not dirt, but soil that I use for soil blocking in my green stock, and it was holding way too much water. It never dried out. The strawberry bare roots that I had seemed to rot, so I planted some strawberry plants and redid that yesterday, and I'm hoping that I've been getting strawberry plants for my raised beds, but I hope to get some on there too. A bunch of my florette zinnias are blooming, so so far I'm not like, thank God I spent $20 for back the seeds, but you know, we'll see. Lord. I know. Don't say that because Matt watches these. We would never buy a $20. Product. I'm saying I spent $20. Well, they weren't even $20. Were they 15 or something? But No, they were like $19.99. Okay. Just because I bought them doesn't mean she did. She, he knows I did. Uh, <laughs> do you do much with animals in your patterns? Well, yeah. yeah, we have a lot of animals. Yeah, we have dogs and cats. Cats, sorry. I just need to make sure. Reindeer. <laughs> Reindeer. Cows, chickens. Have you ever thought about a chart that says Pigs? watermelon? We have watermelon charts. Yeah, I think they were thinking about this one because we had talked about how there was going to be a summary one with Oh, babies. okay. Okay. Uh, Zinnia is adorable. I think she resembles Cash. Yes, I do too. Have you ever thought of having fabric that has flowers? Yes. Yes. What's a good fertilizer for begonias? I'm not sure because I don't ever grow them. But you so, wanted some, right? Is that what you wanted? Yeah, those ones that look like big roses. Because I have a, a a thing in my corner of my porch where it's mostly shade. So I could have something like that. But I just haven't like bought it because I don't buy impatience and I don't buy begonias. And Plant I know tone would be fine. Sure. Right? I'm sure Miracle Grow is too, but I'm not sure if they're you know, like how some plants don't want fertilizer. Yeah. yeah. So you would have to read about that. Um, when you do your garden tours, can you please show deadheading? Yes. Yes. Well, most of the plants that we use, you don't deadhead. Mm, we bought some different... I did buy some petunias this year that the... I, what? It's a bird that they're called. They're purple. 
and lime green and white. Yes. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I got the lime Packaging green. Packaging or something. I don't know. Yours are totally lime green and white. Yes. Where'd you put those? Um, <clears throat> lining. There's some buckets lining my raised garden beds. I know. You just want to look around. Um, hey. Do you ever add patterns to a series you have already done? Would love a daisy themed calendar crates. No, because those were 12 months. So th those are complete. Yes. Do you have finishing videos? Lots of them. Uh, we have a whole playlist on our YouTube. So if you go to our main YouTube page, it's youtube.com slash Priscilla's 2000. On there, you can see playlists for garden tours, home tours, and then tutorials. Mm -hmm. And then if you want in person, I'm not sure if the, the retreat's full. If you want in person finishing tutorials, you can come to our retreat and we do that in person. Trying to establish some new hydrangeas, is there a plant food you can recommend to feed? Okay, so when you plant them, you should use Biotone starter fertilizer and then you should give them, I do flower tone. A lot of people do rose tone or what's that other one? Polytone? Mm-hmm. So it depends on that. And you should only feed them like you do the biotone and then you should only feed them twice, like once in April, May, and then once in June, and you should be done for the year. Okay. From what I've read. So that's what I have for And my hydrangeas seem to do very well, so Nah. I wouldn't say that. I want I bought this at Hobby Lobby. Because I thought that it would be so cute to have a, a roundabout, one of the farm theme roundabouts on it. That is cute. So, but I didn't want to do it because it was so much bigger than the rest of them. It would look funny in like a group picture. But I think that this is really cute. And it was in the spring shop, so it's 40 or 50% off. Are the pigs big enough to put one on? If you just did the and round. And it was $27.99. Is what? Are the pigs big enough? Are that cow big enough that you could just do one? I was thinking maybe you could put them on the... I'm saying for a display for all four or five. Or... Kind of big. Yeah. You could maybe do three of them here. Yeah. And maybe one of them up here. Yep. It's super cute. Mm -hmm. What was it before? It's just this. Oh, the hole is supposed to be the bar. Okay. Yeah, right. you just like hang it on the wall. Okay. It's $27.99, though, regular price. So I wanted to show you that. And do we want to show them this stuff, or do we yes. want to do the Etsy first? No, we'll do the new releases. So you saw two of the new releases last week, but we're going to show them all to you again. This is the one you did not see. So if you're following along the home tours, this is uh, part of the Kitchen Chalk series. So this is Believe in the Magic. The magic. And this was the chalkboard that hung in the little area between the kitchen and the family room last year. Hallway. This <laughs> it's not big enough to be a hallway. It's like a mud room. <laughs> right. This is a wall decor piece from Hobby Lobby and it was not on sale this week so I'm thinking like if you go Monday or next week it'll be on sale but it was $28.99 home decor 22 2282184 and as always, we put the item numbers on the back of the, the sure. chart. This greenery is not in the Christmas section. It was in the regular section, but I thought it looked so pretty compared to what they had in the Christmas section right now for greenery. And then I just did a bow with our Stitching with a Half Size Ribbon, and I have this little tag. This came from Walmart last year, and there are mini ornaments, and it's like a letter to Santa. Super cute. So the reindeer are really cute and the houses are very pretty and I know you guys love this chalkboard so now you can stitch it. And then to recap we showed you Liberty which is the word swap. I can't believe I put this upside down. If you are part of our Facebook um, group, not this one, but strawberries, Lee Hofstetler did strawberries on the peppermint fabric flare i believe it is and it is so so pretty yes it's very pretty you should check that out if you're still needing ideas on how you want to stitch yours and then the last of the monthly weigh-ins is august 
I love the finishing fabrics on this too with the mustard and black stitching stripes. Yep. But this is golden. It's got the purple you guys all love. I use the Priscilla's pepper in on some of the flowers. She's starting to love purple. She bought some purple Angelonia, Angelinia. I've Angelina. always loved purple flowers. But I just don't know. She, she threw hands. She's ready to fight. <laughs> Do we need this? Yes, we need this. She always says, you have so much room. We need this. We need this. Because she wants to get one, so I get one. Yesterday, I mowed the lawn, and it's I decided to... It was not. <laughs> I don't even... Like, I just mowed my lawn last Thursday. I would have mowed it Wednesday or something <laughs> if I could have, but I was busy stitching. But I, my raspberry patch with the stinging nettles and the creeping Charlie or whoever he is, you don't want creepers in your yard, believe me. And it is just irritating. So... I didn't have log sleeves on. I didn't have gloves on. I just went in there and started ripping out the stinging nettles. And the whole, this, all this is like numb from stinging nettles. If you've never been around it, like the first time it touched me, I thought my leg was going to fall off. But anyway. <laughs> it's supposed to be good for arthritis. Probably because you can't feel pain. So. Yeah, because this is so painful you don't realize it. <laughs> your legs hurt or whatever. But when I was Googling, like, how to get rid of it, it popped up that there's seeds that you can buy for that stuff. And I'm like, who would ever do that to themselves? It's very medicinal. You can make teas and you can, I think, nettle soup or something. I mean, it's it's a very powerful medicinal weed, herb, whatever you want to call it. But, yes, you need to be able to harvest it the right way. <sighs> and what she did is not the right way. Matt is actually on a nettle tea for his allergies. Allergies are really bad right now up here. All right, what went in the Etsy shop? Okay, so. So this, we, we completed with... our farmhouse theme and our patriotic theme mm -hmm. for the strippers and the. And there was bonus charts with both of them. But this is Farm Fresh Eggs. And it's on that chicken and I have to say that the Hobby Lobby that I went to yesterday has so much of that Bed Bath & Beyond stuff that they're trying to sell. And a lot of the pieces like that we've used for finishing have red tags on them. So if you are short any finishing pieces, you might want to go because they were really clearanced. And I asked the lady at the register, I'm like, are you guys going to get more stuff in? Like normal stuff? And she said, oh, of course. So we'll see. We'll see. But this is Farm Fresh Eggs. What was next? Sunflower oh, Dairy. Yeah, Sunflower Dairy. This was also from Hobby Lobby. Uh, Eggs and Bacon Cafe. I know. Early Bird Coffee Co. Early Bird Coffee and Tea Co. <sighs> oh. <laughs> the dogs... <laughs> I'm puking. She's burping. And this is the only finishing piece I didn't get from Hobby Lobby. This is from Stitch Etc. You can find them on Facebook and just request to order something. They also they have make a shop in paddles. Farmington, Missouri. Yeah. And this one is on the farm. And you also get a bonus chart with this farm life. life. So then we did our sassy strippers. Red, white, and blue was first. These paddles, they're little serving boards from Hobby Lobby. I bought two more yesterday, so they still have them. Where are they? Um, there's like a little square, one of those things that's out in the middle of the aisle with all kinds of cutting boards on it, and they're on there. There is one that's this skinny, but it's a lot longer that you could maybe like put three of these on if you wanted to. <laughs> Second of all, we had Liberty and Justice for All. This is my country. God bless America. And then this week we have the stars and stripes. And this comes with a bonus. And for the finishing, I did the same thing with the stitching stripes. I ironed the edges under and used it like a ribbon. And I added bigger daisy trim on these. I used a small daisy trim. I used the bigger daisy trim and some cover buttons. 
I need to order me some cover buttons too, like this size. What size is it? You gotta say one know. to know what size it is. I don't know. You just order all of them. I'm in like millimeters some. and I don't, like I wish I could show you these all together. They're so cute. Not as cute as you, Zen. Don't worry. There's three. Four. I'm so sad I'm missing Crime Con. I got FOMO really bad. Is it happening right now? Yeah. Are any of you watching the Karen Reed trial? Oh my goodness. It's and like that other a, guy. It's like a, a soap opera. Yeah, Chad Daybell yesterday was his sentencing, or his verdict, so he's guilty of everything. Everything. Good. <laughs> his wife, too? Or they didn't... She's, she's already done. They were going to no, do I them both like, together. Didn't he, didn't yeah, killing his wife. His wife. Oh. Killing his wife and killing the two kids. If you have it on uh, HBO, if you have HBO, The Jinx, that was very good and it kept me interested. It's very... Mm. All right, I did get a, a gift from Betsy. Let me get her some. Okay, all right, we are gonna get a bottle, but first I wanna show from Betsy. She sent a beautiful card and a gift for Zinni. She went to Disney. Look at this cute. I'm showing you. Minnie Mouse. Sorry, I can't. Can you pull this box and show? And then she's, she sent a couple of other things for Zinnia. She also sent something really cute for Cash. Look at that. I love these little scrunchies now. They have the ears on them instead of wearing the ears. And look at this little onesie. So cute. Adorable. Adorable. Thank you. And then this for Cash from the Lego store. It's a burger truck. It's adorable. Very cute. And there's a card for him. Too. Yes. He, I didn't know it was for him. I didn't see the... So I opened it. But I'm going to tape it all up so it doesn't look like I opened it. Okay. Thank you, Betsy, so much. That's going to be something great for us to do. He gets out of school next week. So then it'll be... I've been threatening him all week, too. Because uh, he'll take one bite of breakfast. And he says, oh, I'm full. I say, You're going to have 12 more days of school if you don't start eating your breakfast. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, okay, so what else? Anything else that you wanted to show? Do you have any previous finishes? Oh, we're doing to a Jolly July again with Back Quarter Shop in the month of July. We'll be stitching Christmas. That's what that piece is for, the Believe. Mm -hmm. So it comes out next month so that you can order the chart to have it all ready to go for July. Floss, fabric, whatever mm -hmm. you're, mm -hmm. you're going to stitch on. And I did stitch it on the Black Monaco from Fat Quarter Shop and... The whole list of floss will be on my blog in the next couple of days. Yep, shops will get their shops got their info last night, so that you should see the pre-orders by now. Okay. Uh, all right. First off, we are going to be doing a Facebook Housewives Hurrah this week. So next week mm -hmm. you'll have we'll have some winners to announce there. So if you are part of our Facebook group, Stitching with the Housewives, there's two questions that you have to answer. Uh, a dog's name, cat's name, and then e either Cash or Zinnia. And you will, um, your merch. So any Housewives merch, sweatshirts, bags, um, your Yeti cups. I absolutely love my Yeti. So uh, I always take it one step further. I want, I want to see your face in the picture. I'm so. not done though. I'm listing oh, okay. off our merch. <laughs> Your tote bag, your apron. If you Sorry, can help me think of the merch things, that would be helpful. I'm over here struggling. Um, we have all those, the, like, the zipper pulls. <laughs> yes. That came with all of our kits. Plus, we have the Housewives one and the scale. Um, some of you might. T-shirt, your Christmas shirt. Some of you shirts. might even have the Ronnie Needle Minder. Ron, Yep. Uh, so that, and then your face in that, and you're going to tag it Housewives Hurrah, H-O-O-R-A-H. Mm -hmm. And, and we'd love for you to hold up, like, something that you're stitching of ours or one that you've already finished or something. Just show us your stuff. Yes. You can tell it's been a long week for both of us. We're both just kind of like, <laughs> the yikes. <laughs> like, where's the words? Wait, what are the words coming out of my mouth? Yeah. And I'm hungry. Hi. Like, I can eat my arm. <laughs> Don't be looking at me like that. <laughs> I saw you had your cottage cheese delivered. Um, all right. And the dogs eat that too. They all Is get that it. why you got seven tubs? No, you only got one. They eat a little bit in their bowls with blueberries with their food. 
Okay, don't ever drop in on Priscilla unexpected. She's gonna have the <laughs> table set for her <laughs> Piper, Presley, and Petunia all sitting. There's four chairs and they're all sitting there. I wonder who gets the chair with the nail in it. Probably you, because you no, don't want your, of them. your dogs to suffer. Hunter fixed the chairs one year and he put screws in them and the screws are way too long. Screwed up from the bottom. So when you sit on the chair, you get a screw in your, your butt. butt and then you just get to... Or the, if you're dumb enough to stand on the chair to like hang stuff on the wall you stand on one yeah and you know you you <laughs> get leverage to get on up there with that foot right on the screw <laughs> oh, hunter <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry all right they need to be recovered with new fabric anyway so don't have him do it that would be my only suggestion to you um well, all right sometimes i run out of options <laughs> His option, yeah, we're out of options too. Mr. Rob is on his way back to Montana. Is he so. gone? Yes. Today. I thought he said he was leaving June. Oh, that's yeah. tight. <laughs> uh, we don't know the days. We don't know the months. Early bird coffee and tea. We had some winners for that. Oh. Amanda Flood, 4902, Jeanette Lee, 1973, and Dragonfly Farmhouse. These are PDFs. Email me what you want. God Bless America, Katie Ramos, 2220, Robin B, 6281, and Donna Gladden, 8316. Honey Bees and Flowers, please. This is still one of my very favorites. I want to get bees so bad. Rachel Stitches, Dara Michelson, 1968, and Dana Coleman, 5420. That's all you need is something else to take care of. No, not right now. You don't really take care of them. What I would like to do actually is rent out land for people to do it. So they take care of it all, but I get the benefits of having the bees pollinate my stuff. Summer Stitching Seasons. That's right there? No, it's not. Oh. <laughs> That's sayings of the season. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's a long day already. <laughs> it's a long year. <laughs> this isn't even on here right. You're saying it like I did it. I you did. It. <laughs> Anna Chapman, 3770, Tessa Hill, 6996, and Nancy Cascading, 6880. And then this, right? Yes. Yeah, Strawberry Patch, Charge J57, Seesaw, 432, and K Hilkey. Both of these finishing pieces are from Taisley's and Polka Dots. All right, from Fat Quarter Shop. No, no, we have the other one. We didn't. That was last, Priscilla. Oh. You Sorry, added it in last. Sorry. From Fat Corner Shop, thank you, Kimberly and team. We have the Soul Sampler box. That goes to Jenny Fleming D. Johnson 4852. Hi, baby. And um, that's physical, so send me a physical address. Then from Creative Carol, who makes these beautiful project bags, we have the poppies. This goes to High Pocket Stitcher and Connie Kellett 3057. Sorry, Mama. Yeah, you're hungry. And then Bumblebee in. It's your turn. Bumblebee in. It's Bumblebee in. Wait. You're lucky you're holding the baby. <laughs> Jan Heron, 3291. Lori Colgan, 8271. And Red Cotton Farms. Now see, this would be a really nice housewives hurrah. You got your face in it. You got stitching in it. And you got the sweatshirt on. Just to give you some ideas. I like funnier ones too, or when you're yes, in Disney World, yes, yes. or on the boat. God help us all. <sighs> uh, those are the giveaways that I have this week. So my email address is listed in the comment section below. You're going to email me what you want, what your YouTube name is, and if it's a physical item like the So Sampler box or the Poppy bag, you will also give me your physical address and do not go through etsy please and thank you i saw one come through last night did you mm -hmm. um okay so then we have giveaways for this week the first one is three opportunities to win good good thought <laughs> life on the farm on the farm. on the farm and then farm life comes with that one so mm -hmm. that's number one number two is two opportunities to uh, three opportunities to win stars and stripes <laughs> Which also comes with a bonus. I just need to watch the Boston Rob video again just for a little refresh. A little, <laughs> little pick-me-up. Yeah, that will give you a life, right? <laughs> a little coffee. Thank you, Denise. Number three is Word Swap Liberty. Number four. Believe in the magic. These will all be physical. 
mm -hmm. charts. The the mm -hmm. one she just listed, Liberty, this one, and then August. And also the question for today is which of those three charts, the third is the August monthly weigh-in, which is your favorite? So there's number three. That's or number, number five. Five, five, sorry. Do you have, is yeah. that why this stuff is out? Yeah, I have fine floss from Fat Quarter Shop. She's usually in sleepers. I decided to put her in a little fancy outfit today and she's going to sleep. Number six, no you're not. This bottle is expensive, girlfriend. You are going to wake up and drink it. <laughs> Number six is fine floss. I'm just kidding. Two opportunities to win that from Fat Quarter Shop. Thank you. Number seven is three opportunities to win the quilted scarecrow quilt pattern and the quilted scarecrow cross stitch pattern. That's nice. Number eight is three opportunities to win the stitch card set tee. And you're also going to get the March's bird. Number nine is five opportunities to win a chart of your choice from our Etsy shop. Again, in our Etsy shop this weekend, win in the cross stitcher and the um, strawberry. strawberry. Look at her hairline. So she's like bald up here, but she's like those old men that have the hair down here. <laughs> That'll fall out. Uh, George Costanza. That'll fall out. I know. It'll all come back and it'll all be pretty. She'll have beautiful long hair mm -hmm. like her mama. So also when you're writing which one of those is your favorite, um, let us know if you're going to be stitching Christmas with us in July. We'd love to hear. Yes, so our roundabouts and our strippers, strippers will be Christmas themed. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we, we started doing that just because it's a great way. A lot of people stitch ornaments and things for their families. Mm -hmm. We also used to do Santa Sundays where we mm -hmm. would cr stitch Christmas throughout the year uh, just to kind of ramp up. That's kind of our favorite holiday to stitch for. But so. it, in my thoughts, if you start a bigger piece, like Believe in the Magic, by Christmas time, you'll have it done, and then you'll be able to have it on display this year. Absolutely. So Versus starting it in December and you, or yeah. November, you, you might not have it done with all the rest of stuff that goes on during Christmas time. So here's your three choices for your favorite. You're going to hold that one? Or you want this one? No. Nope. Liberty, the August monthly weigh-in, or Believe in the Magic. We are thinking too because next month we will we won't have the August monthly weigh in that there might be a, an additional word swap so m maybe stay tuned for that mm -hmm. possibly. I bought two more of those wood pieces yesterday because they're on sale. So if you get there today, they're on sale for forty percent off. So they're really cheap. Today being Saturday. Mm -hmm. Yes. But then Monday they won't be on sale anymore. All right. What do you have going on for this week? It's the first week of June. Gosh, I don't even know. I just want it. I still have plants in my driveway. I still have a few flats in my garage that I need to get out. I'm starting some more seeds. I'm going to start some more herbs. I'm going to start some more zinnies. I got probably, what's five times five? I probably have 250 zinnias at least to plant. But you've got empty trays and space to do it. Oh, you're saying this, the They're plants. They're in my driveway waiting for me to plant them. The new area that um, Chelsea had Matt build me beds for Mother's Day, I planted the florette dahlias that I grew from seed and the florette zinnias that I grew from seed and rabbits and earwigs are probably eating both of them. So I've had to do that rabbit stuff and I've had to do the sligo plus for the earwigs. So hopefully they stop. But the, some of the zinnias are blooming, so it's really pretty. We had some wacky weather again this week. Yeah, and it's like while we were up um, at the something. suburb oh, for yeah. Joanna's birthday, they were ha we, were, we were up in Waukesha, so that's about an hour and fifteen wherever here. west. I'm not sure, but it's an hour and fifteen from here. He said west of Milwaukee. Um, and my oldest son said to me, "There's a tornado headed to your house," and I was like, "What?" Well, the sirens were going off and yeah, that, so yeah. So we and were, I guess it was at my house too. Cash said that the really the sirens were going oh. off. So it was pretty scary. Uh, it it touched. There were funnel clouds seen on the the road that's like two blocks away, 
and there there was no damage to anything i don't think so i don't know they said one touchdown in spring grove which is two towns away but everything was fine we had electric and but it was really like scary sitting there at dinner thinking mom, mom hasn't set up her cameras yet she's going to she has cameras but she hasn't set one up to watch the dogs specifically so no. that is i mean hunter and destiny were able to watch their dogs and i think that that's important. i have cameras inside my house as well she has them in here but not in the room with the dogs so right. that's something that she's got to work on she has them just not set up <laughs> <laughs> but the outside of my house is all camera up so <laughs> Okay. Alerts every 30 seconds. I've seen too much crime con, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. She said, uh, ladies, it's about me. <laughs> ladies. Um, other than that, we are just, oh, I have baseball. So I have baseball tonight, I had baseball last night, and then baseball Tuesday, Thursday. We signed him up for football begrudgingly that's okay that starts soon in july and then four practices a week and a game it seems like so much but he's excited about it and so we'll see how he does he did like bend his finger back a little bit the other day and he was crying hysterically so i don't know when somebody hits him how he's gonna feel he'll have all the pads and everything on he'll be fine okay. mom's all for it me i'm just like oh can't you play like ping pong or something? Just <laughs> my boys all did it. Yeah, yeah. that's why I'm worried. <laughs> Just... <laughs> I see Hunter and I'm like, well, <laughs> Hunter, sorry, she's she's mean. I see. He's always, <laughs> we have this this message thread, and he's always, mom, <laughs> because she's mean to him all the time, mom. <laughs> And then she said, well, she's just very good at being mean to you. The, the, it's like <laughs> they have to tattle on each other all the time. So it doesn't end when they get old. <laughs> Listen, lady, if I'm old, <laughs> you're old, too. So I, I, I know I'm old. <laughs> I told you that when it started this year with the gardening. I'm like, when did I get old? You, you said know? you were going to do the five yards of dirt, so you're not that old. I had the first bed done. <laughs> I had the first bed done. It would have taken me a couple of days probably, but yeah, I just got two more yards delivered. I was going to quit. So, all right. So pick your favorite August monthly weigh-in. Liberty Boston Rob. Liberty words. <laughs> Rob. Yeah, we all pick Boston Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I have a very attractive husband. I'm just kidding. He knows I'm kidding. It was so funny though. When I watched it, I was like, oh my God, he said my name. Right. She <laughs> thought that somebody just tagged her in a video type of thing. And then she looked at it. And she's no, like, cause people send me videos all the time. And I just thought it was just another one of those. And I was watching it. I was like, oh. <laughs> people said, her, that, that's me. That's my husband. We're always sending her stuff on Instagram. Already seen it is what she'll write back. <laughs> yeah. All right. So here's your choices again. The three. Just list your favorites. Don't forget to do the Housewives Hurrah. We can't wait to see you and your... So I'm going to kind of reiterate this. Your merch. Because we get questions a lot about this. These are going to be shipping probably middle towards the end of next week. The third or fourth, I and think, Wednesday, we're Thursday. waiting on the printer. Waiting on the printer to get them out. And that's still early on time for us, but towards the end of the week. So shops will get them after the mail comes, I mean, maybe two, three days after that. And then they'll be but in shops. a lot of shops should have pre-orders where you can get your name on the list so you can get your chart right away. Yep. And then um, they won't be in the Etsy shop until the first week of next month, except for the monthly weigh-in. That will be on um, 45 days. July 15th. So that, oh wow, we're already almost into July. I know. I need to plan his birthday party. Oh my heck. I know. Oh my heck. He said he wants to pool for his birthday. Oh, so do I. So <laughs> tell him to get a job. <laughs> we can go have seats. You can come on up and we can lounge in the pool. We could get a, one of those blow up chairs and we could just stitch in the pool. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Drop the black fabric in the chlorinated water. It'd be great. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> All right. We appreciate you hanging out with us. This has been a hard video for you to watch. We yes. Know. <laughs> we know. It's been a hard video for us. We can't even think of words. Like, why are we so tired?
You didn't move. You just had your first shower after two days. <laughs> That's what she wrote to me. I'm going to shower for the first time in two days. I just wrote, okay. <laughs> I, I stayed in my, I never do this. I stayed in my pajamas. Your cuddle duds? Yes. <laughs> All day on Wednesday. I started stitching after Chance went home on Tuesday. And then I stitched all day on Wednesday, and then I finished Thursday morning, and then finally took a shower. Mm -hmm. And then we met at Bona Beef. Bona Beef. <laughs> Thank God nobody saw me for the. <laughs> I had to walk out the yard though for the dogs. Oh, and then um, my neighbor's tree got knocked down, part of it, in a storm that we had a couple weeks ago with the high winds. And they came and they chipped it all up. But yesterday, when I was mowing the lawn, there's chunks of her tree that they had. They're splattered all over my lawn and we're getting stuck in my blade. Yikes. Yeah. It's never ending. No, never it's not. Ending. It's like my yard's a public park to these people. <laughs> the dog walker over there just walks her dog over to pee in my yard and drags it through my rose bush and Don't stuff. you worry. Mom went out there and <laughs> said something to her. Don't you worry. Yeah, I did. I did. And my spray painted alliums still look really good, so. <laughs> No, I worked too hard on it and spent too much money on plants and stuff for the, her to drag a dog through my yard. Like, don't do that. Pay attention. All right, we got to go. Before she <laughs> says something else. We appreciate you spending your time with us. We'll probably get a garden tour this coming week. We've, but, oh, we don't know. It's supposed to rain all next week. So we'll see how the weather cooperates oh God, and so what we'll we can just do. just have slugs and snails. <laughs> and I have so many roly-polies. So, so many. So many. Oh, the mom cat brought her cats back. We went out. We found them behind the barn. Not in the barn, like an idiot. Behind the barn, under shelter. Um, and two days ago, she just brought them back. I guess they couldn't cut it out in the hood in the no, barn. she <laughs> finally got pregnant, and she's done. So she was back. She didn't bring them all out there on the date with her. She, <laughs> she, just, she did. She doesn't trust you to babysit. She's heard about you. I showed her the <laughs> So rude. <laughs> All right. We appreciate you. We'll see you next week Bye. in some form or fashion. <laughs>